All right, you guys, so the dev blog for update 21 is finally out. The game is having a little bit of issues right now, so it's a perfect time to go over these changes. And honestly, I got a little sneak peek at them, and I might have been wrong about this inflation because I saw some crazy numbers. But either way, let's start going over this blog because there is a lot to cover. All right, so starting off, we have the Millionaire World blog. They have some of those pictures that we saw in the leaks, and then we have that new machine as well. Hatch your way through five new eggs, chance to hatch the new huge pristine snake in the final egg. All right, so that's really cool. This is going to be a new event, huge, I assume. So nothing too different so far. We have 11 new pets from the new zones, including a diamond dragon, a pristine poodle, humble hen, and then plus the newest best pet, the Lux Peacock. So that's kind of cool. This Lux Peacock right here, I guess, is the best stat pet in the game currently. So that's going to be very interesting to try to get for this update. There are new huge pets found in the huge raffle, the mini game, as well as the final egg. So we have the elegant eagle, the huge treasure turtle, as as well as a huge pristine snake. I'm guessing if they are saying these are limited, that means that the huge raffle as well as the millionaire world run mini game is going to be a limited time event within this world. I personally don't see how this is going to be a limited time huge if it is from those permanent worlds. So we're just going to have to wait till we get in game to see that as well. Next up, we have the huge raffle. So free huge pets. Anyone raffle draws every 10 minutes for five winners. The raffle is included for everybody globally across all servers. Each person may enter as many millionaire tickets as they want. All right. So this is what I was talking about when I said inflation might not be a big deal anymore because of this huge raffle. So essentially, they're going to do a draw every 10 minutes. So that's six times an hour for five winners. So that's about 30 huges an hour. So if we multiply that 30 by 24, we'll see that's 720 huges every single day, which honestly is not a lot. And if this is going to be a limited huge, meaning that this huge raffle minigame is going to go away eventually, I'd say it's going to be around for a max 14 days. So that means there's only going to be around 10,000 of these huges, which honestly... It's not that crazy, but either way, I think a lot of people are going to be wasting a ton of diamonds by entering this raffle because you can enter as many times as you want. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of diamonds on these tickets to try to win the huge. So as you guys can see, you enter to win the millionaire raffle. It's going to be like right here and you can spend your diamonds to actually buy these. So it says right here, use millionaire tickets to win the huge pet raffles sold by rich guy Preston Merchant. You'll see that these raffle tickets are expensive, 50,000 per ticket, meaning that if you buy just 20 of them, you're going to be spending 1 million diamonds. But I wouldn't be surprised if people are auto entering the raffle every 10 minutes with at least 20 tickets, meaning that they're spending 1 million diamonds every 10 minutes, which is 6 million diamonds an hour. While for some people that might not be a lot, that's still a lot of diamonds that is actually disappearing from the economy. So this is actually a very good move from big games. Games. This is a great way to lower inflation as we were expecting some potential inflation in today's update. So honestly, this is a perfect idea for a money sink. So I'm very interested to see how this works in game. But do keep in mind that these prices for these tickets could be different because the prices in dev blogs are honestly not really the same as the prices in game most of the time. I am going to have to wait to see what the actual prices are in game for this. So next up, we have this millionaire run mini game. Every time you go through the door, the prize gets better. As you continue, the chance of losing it all is much greater. There's 20 doors and the rainbow shiny huge treasure turtle is at the end. Now, I do understand that this is completely luck based if you're able to get to the end of this thing. But honestly, from the sound of it, it seems like people that have like a ton of bot accounts are just going to be able to send all of their accounts to try and do this thing or like randomized. But I don't know. It seems like people who have a ton of accounts and it set up macros and stuff like that are going to be able to automate this essentially for all of their accounts and have a pretty high chance at getting this rainbow shiny every single day. All right. So after scrolling down, there is a daily plays left limit, which makes sense. I, I'm glad they put this still honestly seems pretty crazy to me. This system, I'm not sure how they're going to stop abusers of this. We'll wait and see for the in-game stuff. So next up, we have the boost exchange machine. You can have all three active, but only for 24 hours each. So you must come back. Seems pretty interesting. Just another boost method that we can use in the game. 
I didn't really catch how you do get these millionaire buck, but maybe I just missed where they said that somewhere. Oh, okay. So, so next up in the blog, it says it drops only in this new world. So it's just an item drop basically. So we should be getting a lot of it. Now, next up, they also have this shiny fruit, supercharge your fruit boost by making them shiny fruit. This is no easy task as a lot of fruit is needed. Good luck. Added to the previous upgrade fruit machine in area 52 and the supercomputer. So it really seems like they're running out of content ideas with this edition i'm not sure who asked for shiny fruits to be made but from my initial thoughts it seems like this is going to make the price of fruit go up a lot as people are going to want to fully stock up on these shiny fruits so honestly, opening those large gift bags are probably really good right now because you get a ton of those fruits. So as you can see, it's a hundred fruit for every one shiny fruit. I'm not sure what the boost is going to be like compared to the other thing, but hopefully I remember to check it out because next up we have this clown clan battle. For this updates clan battle, the total millionaire run rooms visited without failing is going to be the objective for this battle. So this is going to be completely RNG based. This is actually very interesting move from big games. This could potentially be the least pay to win clan battle that we have ever seen in Pet Simulator 99. Now this is actually really good for people that don't play that much in the game. So this is very unlike big games. Every single one of big games objectives usually mean that the player has to play the game 24 seven for the next 14 days. So because this is the total millionaire run rooms visited without failing and you only have the 10 runs. Yeah, only 10 daily plays. That means really if you are in the clan battle, all you have to do is log in every day and do your 10 millionaire races. So honestly, that's pretty good for the average player that doesn't play all that much. But I definitely could see how the big clans are going to be very pissed when they find out this. Honestly, I kind of like it. And it seems like Big Games is trying to cleanse the image of the clan battles because they were getting a little nasty with a bunch of clans pulling out some very nasty tactics to try to win. So since this is all RNG based, it is going to give a lot of lower level clans a chance in this battle. Either way, though, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this battle. I don't fully really care about clan battles in the first place so it doesn't really affect me much now next up we actually do have these three new hoverboards so these are finally in the game we have this pizza hoverboard the popcat hoverboard as well as the throne so for the throne hoverboard you actually are sitting on it and for the pizza one there's like this little pizza trail so this is pretty cool they made sure to note that the huge is not included with the hoverboard next up we have the new forever pack Woo! chance for the new huge lux peacock only in this pack not too surprising here every single week we are getting a brand new forever pack for the content creators to milk all right so very important these changes at the end of the dev blog are honestly so important so we gotta read through these so it looks like they buffed the void hub world specific drops which means prison keys seashells hacker keys and more so these are going to drop more in those worlds so this is going to be interesting to see i'm not entirely sure why they did this and to be honest i'm not sure who is even grinding in any of those other worlds so this seems like a very weird change from big games i wonder what's going through their head when they did this added a right click context menu to open more than one band bundle slash bag at a time added hidden wrap for super rare huge and titanic pets with no valid wrap system. So this is actually a very cool system. I think Sizzle's dad played a big part in advocating for this, because I guess this is gonna help those kids who open these types of pets and honestly don't know the values and end up getting scammed by somebody. So this is a big dub from big games for adding this to the game. They also made it so unlocking mastery perks is more clear and cool. Definitely a W change as well. Changed exclusive pets to be a little bigger than normal pets to make them stand out. That is really cool. I like that. I never really liked how the exclusive pets were like the same size as the stat pets. It did make it kind of confusing. So I think this is a good change. They also changed the statistics for active huges hatched to active plus event huges hatched so that actually does make sense they also did supposedly fix that issue for mac players with their inventory which i heard a lot of people were having problems with they fixed the golden rainbow machines not showing quantity so that was a big issue as well and then they removed the global event. So this is actually a really big deal. I'm guessing those global event gift bags are going to go up a ton in value. So this is going to be interesting to see. Not entirely sure why they removed the global event, but 
definitely a strange change from big games. I wonder if they are going to add it back in a future update because with big games, they tend to really forget about things like this. So they could just completely forget about the global event and never add it back, which would make the value of those gift bags go up a ton. I'm pretty sure the wrap value is around like 1 million diamonds right now. So we'll be monitoring that for sure. Now let's actually hop in game and see these changes for ourselves. All right, you guys. So I spared you all the grinding and I got to the final area so we can go over every little thing we have so far. So first of all, we have this boost exchange machine and how this works is you can like spend a specific amount and you'll get a certain amount of time. Oh wait, yeah, the, actually the percentage actually goes up as well. So that's kind of interesting to see. I think for now, I'll just increase my drop chance because this will actually be able to get me more millionaire bucks and then I'll be able to buy these other upgrades really easily. It also seems like these upgrades are way too cheap because I can already buy nine hours worth of this drop chance and you can only buy a max of 24 hours. So it seems like everybody is going to be able to afford to max out these boosts all the time. They're just going to have to come back to this machine every day. So we'll confirm that. And then next up, we have the buy raffles tickets from Preston here. Like I said, the prices in game are a lot less than they were on the dev blog. So these are only 21K compared to the 50,000 that they were on the dev blog one reason these might be cheaper is because of the economy mastery so i'm not sure if it starts out at like 50,000 or something with all the economy perks is why these are so cheap now but as you guys can see 500 millionaire tickets is going to cost me a whopping 10 million so i definitely think this could still cause some deflation as people spend a lot on these millionaire tickets and consistently join the raffle i accidentally just bought the 500 so honestly i'm gonna buy another 500 and we can set it up over here actually i don't know where you actually oh okay so you enter over here on the billboard so right now there's 1.96 million tickets in the raffle i don't even think it's really worth it to even enter this one that is such low chances i just bought a thousand tickets so a thousand out of 1.96 million is kind of ridiculous my calculator can't even show the odds but that is a very low number i assume that there's going to be a lot less tickets in each of these raffles as the update progresses and there's less people playing the game but since everybody is here for update day the amount of people joining is going to be absolutely crazy let's actually do the math on how much diamonds that is for this single raffle right here if there's going to be at least 2.5 million tickets in this raffle that means in total players in the game are spending 53 billion diamonds that are going into the absolute void so this could potentially be one of the biggest deflation machines that we've seen so far in pet simulator 99 and keep in mind that this raffle is going every 10 minutes. So if people continue buying 2.5 million raffle tickets every 10 minutes, that means 50 billion diamonds from the economy are just disappearing every single 10 minutes. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't think deflation is necessarily a bad thing, but that could definitely potentially be what we're seeing with this update. By the end of this 10 minutes, we're going to have 3 million tickets. That is a load of diamonds disappearing. All right. So last but not least for this world, we have this millionaire race let's enter it and see how lucky we can get all right so right now if i leave i get two rainbow flags so let's just keep going in the risk category let's at least try to make it to room 10 let's not even care about any of the rewards I guess if you run into the clown, that is the end of your journey. And there actually is a five minute timer on this. So there it is for big game. Like I said, big games tries to make these events in a way that people have to play it for a long time. So since there is a five minute cooldown at least, and there is 10 races a day, that's still only 50 minutes a day you have to play. And look, the, it actually says the winners of these huge on the board. So that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, you guys, people are absolutely wasting all of their diamonds on these raffles. I guess every 10 minutes you have a chance at having one of these, either a rainbow gold or I guess even a shiny version of this huge. So that's definitely going to be cool to see. All right. And there were a few things I wanted to test out. For example, they did say they added a right click context menu to open one bundle slash bag at a time. 
So if we right click, we can see that you can open up to 100. Let's see for the gift packs, you can only open up to 50. I'm not gonna lie, big game. You need to make it so you can open up to 1,000 at a time, not just 50. This is actually still a lot faster though. Definitely something you can macro. It's gonna be interesting to see how I can set this up. Hopefully that means I can do some even more gift bag openings because that's gonna make it a lot quicker to do those types of openings. Now, another thing they said they added was unlocking mastery perks were more cool and clear. Now, I'm not sure what this is gonna look like. I assume you actually have to like unlock it in the moment and that's what makes it more cool and clear. So I currently don't see any change with this system. All right, so let's do this luck room chance thing one more time and try to see if we can get farther than we did last time. Again, we're gonna try to get to at least room 10, but since this is for the clan battle, you might as well try to get as far as you can so that you can get as many rooms. We are on room six. I think this is where we lost last time and we're, we got past it, so we're going to room seven and this is where we die okay <laughs> anyways you guys that is pretty much it from this update let me know down in the comment section what kind of videos you guys want to see on this update overall i don't really think this update is that bad at all i honestly think it's like a really cool little addition to the game you guys do have to keep in mind this is just content for the week so honestly for a week's worth of content this is pretty decent either way though let me know what you guys think down in the comment section nobody cares what i think about this update remember to like the video and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out